Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are back again here in Pensacola, Florida, and we're gonna have a little bit of a different video today. We are going, we're going for bull redfish, but if we don't catch any bull redfish, we're gonna eat any trash fish that we catch today, whether it's a ladyfish, hardhead catfish. We're gonna put the myth to the test to try out some of these fish, man. I know some of you in the comments probably have had some of these fish before, but I personally have never had any of these trash fish, so I'm gonna try them out. And like I said, if we catch any catfish today, any ladyfish, we're gonna catch them and we're gonna eat them. So that is the game plan today. The weather is super nasty. We tried to surf fish, but it was so rough on that side. We ended up coming back here to the south side. We're gonna try to catch whatever bites, man. That is the game plan today. If you guys are new here and you guys like any sort of land-based fishing just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We post that stuff all on this channel. And if you do happen to enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like on it. it helps this video reach more people, man. Let's get in the video. Let's try to catch some fish, even if they're trash fish. If we catch any trash fish, we're going to do a trash fish catch and cook. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, we just got to the new spot. We tried to fish on the surf side. It was way too rough, but we are out here on the sound side now. We're going to be going for giant bull redfish, man. I am so excited. I haven't fished the sound side in a while. Let me show you all the bait. This right here is gonna be the bait of choice today, guys. Nasty ladyfish. We're gonna cut a big chunk of bait off. We're gonna sling it out on one of these big rods way past that pier over there. And hopefully that turns into a fish. So we're gonna go ahead and cut off a pretty big chunk. We're gonna sling this bad boy out yonder, man. And hopefully this right here will turn into a giant, giant redfish. All right, guys, we just rigged up the first bait. Hopefully this produces a monster, man. I'm here with my good luck charm, my fiance, Kyla. She's behind the camera. And we're gonna try to catch a beach monster today using cut ladyfish. Now I did bring my cast net. We're gonna try to catch some live bait too. The gold side was way too windy. So without further ado, man, we're gonna go ahead and sling this cut bait off the beach. Hopefully we catch an absolute monster. Y'all check out this setup right here. This is the big boy. This is a spin fisher, 11 foot paraflex, star rod paraflex on a spin fisher 6,500 long cast. That should get the job done. Now we have dead ladyfish on this one. I have a cast net. I'm gonna try to catch some live bait. There's a couple of grass beds around here. I'm gonna try to catch some uh, live bait in those grass beds. And I'm gonna re-rig a couple of setups with a Carolina rig and cast some fresh live bait out. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's a redfish though, babe. I don't know. My line, I got a lot of slack in this line. Yeah, I don't know. That may be a catfish. You wanna reel it in? Check it. Yeah, I think he's on. Here, try, try reeling it in. Oh yeah. Is he on there? I don't know. Yeah, he's on there. <laughs> First fish of the day. If this is a hardhead catfish, we're totally gonna keep it and do a catch and cook. Yeah, I think you got a small little catfish on. Kyla's doing work. Get that catfish, babe. Like I said, if we catch a catfish, we are totally going to do a catch and cut catfish. You want me to help you? Yeah. Here, I got you. Go ahead. Uh, I think he's on. I think we got a nasty, I think we got a nasty hardhead catfish. Oh, yeah. That's supper right there. Yeah, we can try fried catfish. Let's try it. Fried saltwater catfish. Hold on. All right, guys, that's the first catch of the day. We definitely normally do not like catching these bad boys. Babe, that's gonna be supper right there. Fried hardhead catfish. You wanna try it? Seriously, let's try it out. Apparently, these are pretty good to eat. We're gonna put the myth to the test. We're gonna see how these hardhead catfish taste, but that did not take long. If we can get like four or five of these, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fried catfish and grits tonight. How, how's that sound? He's slimy here. Yeah, you can touch him anywhere. Ew. He's slimy. Ew. It's got the. It's definitely got the Wait. freshwater catfish skin. I mean, 
It is a catfish, obviously, but uh. careful. Watch out, watch out for this guy. These fins right here, guys, they will be your worst nightmare. They will, whoo, they will, they will do you dirty. Now we're gonna, we're gonna do a catch and cook saltwater catfish and grits. That's what we're gonna do. I never thought I'd be saying this, guys. We're putting the, we're putting the saltwater catfish in the cooler. We're gonna try them. We're gonna try them out. Oh, dude, fish on, fish on. We got fish on. Oh yeah, I think this is what we're after. <laughs> Saltwater catfish, man. We're putting the nip to the test today. Yeah, this one feels like it's got some shoulders. It'd be funny if we have two of them on here instead of just one. <sighs> what in the world? Oh yeah, it? it's a hard head, baby. That's dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's number two. We only need like two or three more of these bad boys and we're gonna be having some uh, fried catfish and grits. <laughs> Babe, that right there is going to be some good fried fish for dinner right there. You wanna you want hold him? Nah, don't hold him, he's got some, he's got some nasty fins. That's number two. This guy's a little smaller than the other one, but uh, he's going in the cooler. I know, what is that? Is it a girl? I don't know, it's weird. It's it. Oh, he's got fins on the back too. Yeah, that's nasty. All right, she's going in the cooler. Number two. Kyla, Kyla, that, that's a redfish. That's a redfish right there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, we just got annihilated. No, that's a serious fish. I don't know, it may not be a redfish. I don't know. Golly, that thing took off with it. If this is a catfish, which I think it is, it's gonna be an absolute monster catfish, man. Look at the size of that catfish, Kyla. Look at the size of that catfish. <laughs> Small. Y'all listen to Kyla, man. She's she's dissing me on my on my fish. Well, that one's gonna go in the frying pan. We are all done catching catfish. All right, well, as you guys saw, we did catch a ton of hardhead catfish. So that is gonna be what's on the menu tonight. We're gonna go to Publix, get some fish fry, and we're gonna have us a good Southern style dinner. We're gonna fry these catfish, make some grits, maybe even fry some hush puppies. I, I'm thinking it's gonna be good. Kyla is not really too happy about that. She was hoping that I would catch a redfish, but she's gonna try it as well. So see y'all in the kitchen. All right, guys, we just got to the house. We're fixing to clean up some of these hardhead catfish. I've never filleted these before. So before you guys go in the comments and roast me, I'm probably doing it wrong. I'm probably not doing the best job I could be doing. I have no idea how to flay them. I'm just going off of instinct right now, the, you know, a past fish I've cleaned. So if you guys have an easier way of cleaning these guys, let me know in the comment section. It was pretty funny too. So I walked inside and my dad asked me uh, what I caught today because I was getting ice and, he, and I said saltwater catfish. And he said, well, why are you getting ice? And I said, because I'm going to eat them. And he said, you're going to eat saltwater catfish. And I said, yeah, I'm going to try them. And he said, you're out of your mind. So we may have him taste some of this fish too. Kyla's actually pretty excited, aren't you? Not really. She's not really excited. She told me she's not looking forward to this. All right. Well, hey, have Domino's on speed dial in case this catfish does not turn out good. Okay. okay. Because if it's if it doesn't, then we're gonna have to call Domino's and get a pan pizza or something. All right. Well, there is the catch right there, man. Got a nice little pile of a uh, hard head catfish. We're just gonna rinse them off, get the sand off of them. So like I said, guys, I used to catch a lot of freshwater catfish back in the day. And I, and I think I remember the easiest way that I always remembered uh, playing these guys was to reverse, <sighs> reverse cleaning them like that. And then I think once you get right there, yeah, see right there, we're almost done. And I think I, if I remembered, I turned it over like that. 
and I cut a little bit because they got some gnarly ribs just like that and then instead of just cutting that with a flay knife because I want to cut as minimal as, po as possible because I don't want to get hit by one of those barbs either even whenever they're dead they're uh, they're pretty gnarly still they're still working actually they still have the venom or the toxin, whatever you want to call it. I forget the anatomy of it. That doesn't look too bad there. I'm gonna tell my dad this is cobia. See if he'll fall for it. <laughs> All right, well, we just flayed that one uh, catfish. We have four more to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get filleting and uh, yeah, see you guys in the kitchen whenever we get done doing this. Not a bad looking fillet though. I must say, pretty impressed. All right, well, we got the catfish fillets. These have a lot of bloodline in them, but uh, honestly, man, I know the bloodline makes fish taste kind of fishy sometimes, but we're going to keep them in there just because these fillets are already kind of small. We have like a couple more in the inside, but I wanted to show you all two fillets. But, yeah, we're going to keep these bloodlines on and just cook them with the bloodline just because they're kind of smaller. And if I cut these bloodlines out, then they're probably going to take some of the meat off the flame. We want them nice and whole, just like that. So we're going to go batter these bad boys up. We're going to put them in the fryer. And uh, man, I'm getting kind of nervous now, actually. You know, look at that weird texture. It's just like a freshwater uh, catfish. Look at that. All right, so we're making our egg wash right now. I just used one egg and a little bit of milk. I need to be careful doing it that hard. I'm going to get it everywhere. <laughs> going to mix it up like this until it's nice and stirred. Now we need to see if we can find a Ziploc bag. We're going to put the fish fry in. This one right here will work, work perfect. Here, hold this bag open. So yeah, this right here is probably going to be the only thing that tastes good on these fish. I have a feeling it's actually going to taste pretty good. Are you nervous? <laughs> I, think I, th I think that face says it all right there. All right, we're going to put some fish fry in there. It smells pretty good. Ooh, it's lemony. Mm. Mm -mm. That fish fry is going to be the only thing that tastes good about this. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this all at once. We're going to put the catfish inside the egg wash, like so. I'm going to let it drain like that. Make sure all the excess liquid's off. We're going to toss her in there. Now, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll double dip it. But I don't think we're going to be too worried about that. Oh, yeah. These things are breading nice and good. Look at that fillet right there. That looks like like that's the one, skin. That's the one you caught right there. That's that big one. Yeah, they have a nasty like raw skin. They have a nasty bloodline too. But I told I told all the viewers we're not gonna we're not gonna cut those out because it'll get rid of some of the meat. We want, we want these fillets as big as possible. Mm. Now the oil that we're gonna be using to fry these fish is going to be some classic peanut oil you can't go wrong with peanut oil my favorite oil to fry stuff with absolutely love peanut oil and we're not going to use all of this we're just going to pour a little oil we actually might have to just because this pan's pretty big so we're going to want to fill it up enough to where it's completely submerges or almost completely submerges the uh the flays it's probably going to be good right there Kyla's getting the grits ready. Y'all check these out, man. Jalapeno cheddar. Those are gonna taste, those are gonna taste freaking good. All right, Dad, I got some fish frying up in there. You want some of it, man? No, I don't want any saltwater cat. <laughs> I don't you don't, want, any, uh, you don't want any saltwater catfish? No, I don't. What if it tastes good, though? The cats won't even eat it. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> I just gave a piece of uh, raw fish to one of, the, one of the cats in there, and they did not <laughs> like it. That's probably a sign, right? That's a, that's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> My, hey, Dad said that the reason that he, the reason why he's not going to eat it is because the cat didn't even eat it. <laughs> He's got a point. Y'all check this out. I tell Kyla to make me some grits. This is how they turned out right there. I, I think it's you put a done. little too much milk in there, honey. <laughs> oh my it says, gosh. She says two thirds. She put it in the microwave for two minutes and it comes out looking like broccoli cheddar soup from Panera Bread. I don't, I think you put a little too much milk in there. All right, the oil is ready to go. We're gonna start dropping. We're gonna start dropping some catfish fillets. I'm telling you guys, I'm honestly not too uh, 
you know, I was kind of nervous at first, but I, I think that uh, these are going to turn out pretty doggone good. We still have a little bit left. All right, guys, we're taking the catfish fillets out. We're going to save the rest for another day in case they're pretty good. This they don't look that bad. They don't look that bad at all. What do you guys think? A little bit of hush puppies and grits and some ketchup. I think that's going to be good. All right, Kyla just got her a chunk of the saltwater catfish. Is it actually pretty good? How is it? <laughs> All I taste is ketchup. I got the end piece. Oh gosh. Does it taste like fishy at all? Mm -mm. It tastes pretty good? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Yes. Kyla is scared that we can't eat this fish. She thinks we're eating puffer fish or something. It's a Well, catfish. the way you're acting. I told her that the, the spines have like venom on the end of them or, or poison, whatever the anatomy is. But uh, yeah, no, these are fine to eat. All right, first, first things first, these grits sound a lot more appetizing than the catfish. So we're gonna try some of these. These are Kyla's jalapeno cheddar uh, grits. I'm giving you some credit because they're actually instant grits, but I'm making that sound like she made them homemade, but. Mmm, grits are freaking good. They're a little spicy too, holy cow. I did not think the jalapeno cheddar would make that big of a, put that much of a spice in it, but it definitely does. All right. <clears throat> First ever saltwater catfish, hardhead catfish. I keep calling them saltwater catfish. You guys know what I'm talking about, but there's two species of catfish. There's sail cats, which I have heard are pretty good. And there's hardheads. Hardheads apparently are kind of nasty to eat, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna try it out. Here we go. It's just fish. Let me tell you something, that is actually outstanding. I'm not even kidding you. It really is. Guys, you, you know what this tastes like? Seriously, it is, first of all, tastes like it is very, very good. Like honestly, I, there's no complaints. Even with all the, the dark meat in there, even with the blood lime, did not taste fishy at all. This has the consistency. This tastes, this, if I can name this after one fish, this reminds me of mullet. This reminds me of saltwater fried mullet. If you guys have ever had fried mullet, this is exactly what it tastes like. Kelsey's gonna try some now too. This is my sister. This is apparently one of the nastiest eating fish out there, by the way. We're putting the myth to the test. Why? It tastes literally like Partially a red tastes snapper. Tastes like, it tastes absolutely no. fine. The ketchup tastes like fried fish. So there you guys go. If you are wondering if you can eat saltwater, you know, hard head catfish, I keep calling them saltwater catfish. If you guys are wondering if you can catch hard head catfish and eat them, this video, we're good. This video goes to show you that uh, you can eat hard head catfish. They actually are mighty tasty, man. I'm good. Hey, have you, you still have uh, Domino's pizza pulled up? Go ahead and order a pizza because we're, we're done eating this. I, no, I'm just kidding. We're just kidding. I was, I'm I was still doing recording. It, I was doing it for the video. All right, guys, well, that is going to wrap it up, man. I am actually thoroughly surprised. Of how, look how white that meat is, too. I'm so surprised how good that hardhead catfish tastes. So many people throw them back, and they are phenomenal to eat. I'm telling you guys, they're phenomenal. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like on the video. It helps this video reach more people like you and me. And if you enjoy this kind of stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Post that stuff all on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, man. Hope you are staying safe out there. See you all in the video next week.